Howdy, Paws and Patty here, and this is take two of my fall Cosmic Smash book, because let me tell you what happened. Well, the idea was to finish the last page in the first signature of my smash book and that is this page right here with this lovely zucchini so let me show you what I did okay the very last page of the first signature that I'm working on is going to be across from my mason jar of runner beans and peas and it is down here so oh let me get the photos okay I am printing out two pictures today one is of a zucchini that my stepdaughter grew in her garden and gave to me and the other is a picture of me grilling the zucchini so you guessed it, today's journal page is going to be zucchini. And there it is on the grill. And now I gotta go get the other picture. And you bring it up on your phone, you can add a frame or some stickers. Well, that was too much fun. I started playing with the stickers and the frames. I changed the frame to one with some leaves and I put these little animals, I think they're kitties. I'm not sure if that's a cat or a squirrel. I think that's two little kitties there playing in the leaves. And I might just put them right in front of the squash, the zucchini green squash there. Why? I don't know, because I'm just playing around. Oh, well, she has two kitties at her house, and the zucchini came from her garden, so why not, right? So now all you have to do is check and print. My printer goes off. I gotta put my printer back on. Shuts off automatically, which is a good thing. Save the batteries. It's rechargeable. You just have to print, uh, plug it in. Isn't that cute? Turns the plain old picture of a zucchini to a really cute card to put in your journal. And there's the grilled squash. So this page is about zucchini from the garden. And let me get these out of the way. Okay, so, well, that's done. So, I have these pictures, and I have a picture of her from a long time ago, which I thought I would add. One of our old school pictures, just for fun, because she grew the squash. As I like to cosmic smash in daily journaling with memory keeping and glue booking and mixed media, art journaling, nature journaling, whatever. All right, so there she is many, many years ago. And here's the squash from her garden. And I found these pages in a 2015 magazine called Country Garden Summer 2015 and grilled squash. So isn't that going to make the perfect background? So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to pull this out for a second. So I'm going to glue this grilled squash down. And I thought because I haven't made any belly bands in quite a while that I would make a zucchini belly band. 
So I have a piece of paper here to glue some zucchini down on. So I'm going to cut the zucchini out and somehow put them on the belly band and then put the belly band onto the page. Now this is the same paper that's in the page next to it, but I don't even know if you're going to see any of that by the time I cut out these zucchini and put them on. So I thought I could just sit down and do a couple pages and finish off the first signature and sew it in and get that done in one video. And that did not happen. So I said, okay, and the next day I tried again, sat down, I only had a couple pages, but we were kind of busy that day and I didn't have a lot of time to work on it. So that didn't get done. I did do a page, I think a page and a half off camera or something like that. And, oh, I did get a pumpkin from her too. Now she didn't plant pumpkins. She said that they had just put the last year's pumpkins in the compost pile. And so the seeds were in the compost pile and then the pumpkin vine just grew. I love summer squash. I don't like when it gets too big, too seedy. But I guess you can hollow it out, stuff it. Okay, so I am going to glue down the background. I was gonna put a pumpkin page with some pumpkins and gourds on here because pumpkins and gourds and summer squashes are all related. But then I found this picture and I said, oh, that's perfect for the background. Let's use that. And then I'm going to glue my zucchinis down on here. Somehow arrange them some way. And then make the journaling card. Okay, I've got this glued down. I'm gonna put this aside to dry. And I'm not quite sure what I wanna do here. I'm thinking that I may glue the zucchini down and then cut this card to the shape of the zucchini. instead of having these square edges here. Let me see how that looks. Let's see. Some glue papers here. I have some more zucchini pages to make the journaling card with. All right. This one goes down first. Should I use glue stick? All right, let's try glue stick. This will work for magazine. I see everybody else using it. For some reason, whenever I use a glue stick, it falls apart. And I don't know why. Okay, then this one. Okay, I forgot where it was, folks. Oh, I'll put it up there. Or was it the other way around? Oh my goodness. Should have took a picture of it, right? Oh well. Let me put the yellow one in. I oh, know the yellow one went the other way. Uh, 
Oh, this is going to have to do. Close enough. Close enough. And then the last one. My idea is to hope they stay attached. Cut this into the shape of the zucchini. and see how that looks. Oops. It's not stuck down good in that spot. Okay, do I want it this way? No, we want it this way. Well, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to probably use some fabric tack on this part. This is almost empty. Let's see if there's anything left in here. Give that a few minutes to stick down and then work on my journaling card. This could be in my trashy. I was using old magazine pictures, but I thought I was going to use some nice scrapbooking paper, and I didn't. Okay, now a journaling card. Stand by. I have this picture of a bucket of yellow and green squash. I just cut it out and it fits. It overhangs a little bit, but that's okay. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think this is a narrow page. But this is very thin, so maybe I will back it with the green pumpkin paper. And I don't know if I should put the green pumpkin she grew on this page or maybe another page. Maybe I'll put that on another page. I already have three pictures for this page. Alright, so I'm going to just fussy cut this a little bit and glue it down and cut it out. And then add the pictures. Okay, I took the white border off the picture and just added a little dark green background. 
there is Jennifer in her bucket of zucchini. This is not her bucket of zucchini, but you know what I mean. And look what I did. I put the pumpkins in upside down. I didn't know this was unidirectional. I thought they were going all different ways. But that's okay. We're not going to worry about that. Okay, that'll go in there. And then I'll have to put the two pictures of zucchini on the back. I love how this came out with the two little characters there. All right, how creative can we get with the pictures on the back? Let's see, this is going to go... this way. But maybe I'll put the pictures this way. And then I can just journal right on here. But do they need a background? Hmm. Let's see. What do I got? That is so cute. So cute. Jennifer's Garden Zucchini, October 12th, 2021. I know it's November. I'm just a little behind in my journaling. But if you think that's behind, I have journaling from August I haven't done yet. And she goes into the belly band. Like so. And then that goes back into the signature. There's my clock. It is the white-throated sparrow, o'clock, and it is done, done, done. Just the first signature is done. So I can always go back and add something else if I want to. I did add a couple of stickers last night, a little heart over here and a little rose and a little teal color heart over there. Okay, and the next idea was to show you how I prep the signatures to sew them in. And that is just by taking out all the ephemera and putting them together with clips. And then I make a template on the spine. So the first thing I do is make a template that is the size of my spine. So let's cut this down to size. Something about that big. Now you can do a lot of measuring and be very precise. You can just eyeball it. But I use the folding method. The Possum Patty Folding Method. And let me show you how that works. All right, these are my pretend, pretend pieces here, just to show you how this works. So I want two signatures. Two signatures. So how many times am I going to fold this? You always add one. So I'm going to fold this into thirds. If I wanted three signatures, I'm going to add one. And so I would fold it into quarters. If I wanted four signatures, add one. I would fold the paper into fifths. If I have five add one, I'd fold the paper into six. And of course, if you have one and you add one, you fold the paper into half, of course. So I have two signatures 
and I'm just going to fold the paper into thirds. And this is my formula. This is all I do. Don't have to measure. Just fold. So again, if I wanted one signature, if I fold the paper in half, right down the middle, that's where I'd put my signature. If I wanted two, I fold the paper into thirds, and you do that by folding it over like this. So you get three even ones, and that's so one there and one there. If I wanted three signatures, I'd fold it into quarters, which is a little bit easier than thirds because you can just fold in half, fold in half again, and when you open it up, you get one, two, three evenly spaced ones on the spine. So I have two signatures, so I am going to just kind of eyeball this out into thirds. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, how many stitches do I want? Okay, this is the older autumn journal, and I have one, two, three stitches. So I have to make one, two, three, four holes. Again, I have three stitches plus one. I have to make four holes. I put beads on this one. I think I'm going to put buttons on this one. So now I'm going to do this a little differently because I want the first hole for sewing to be somewhat at the top. So I might measure this a little bit or eyeball it, doesn't matter. So I usually come down about a half an inch and I eyeballed that perfectly. Come up about half an inch. And so I have one, two, three, four. I think about five inches. So not counting these over here, I need to divide this up. One, two. I need two more holes. Sort of, yeah, here comes the cat. The cat is desperate for some attention today. Okay, I'm trying to do this with a cat in my lap. Just trying to get my attention. I am just going to not count this first space here. And I need two more holes, so I need to fold, not counting those spaces there, this in thirds. Again, this is not precise. It's kind of just like eyeballing it. It's almost like eyeballing it. Okay, so now that's in thirds, not counting the top. Oh, here comes the cat back end of the kitty is on the table now. Okay, so the top I marked a half an inch down. The bottom I marked a half an inch up. And I always label because they're not precise, so I make sure the top is always the top. So then the bottom is a half an inch up, and then I just folded the middle into thirds so that they're all equal sizes, just about, almost, somewhat. And this is where I'm going to poke my holes with my pokey tool. So I have four stitches on two signatures. Let me get the cat out of here. Oh, now oh, she's on my shoulder. That's a little better. Okay, I'm just going to tape this down onto here. 
I never measure precisely because it never comes out right anyway. No sense. No sense in doing all that work. Okay, I got a piece of cardboard here. Got a little seam binding kit here. With some large needles, some wax thread, and a pokey tool, and a thread helper thing there to help me Stand by. And all of that process went pretty well. But then it came to the actual sewing in part. And Mamma Mia, that was such a disaster. I couldn't even watch it. It scared me. And so then I was just going to finish it there. But I decided to sew in the second signature. And this was pretty much ready to go, not finished, but ready to be sewn in. Except for this middle piece I had in the first signature, and that got too fat. So I stuck it here, and that kind of separated these two apple pages, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me at all. And then this was a page that I had made for another journal, but I was using it in this one. And then that came out so bad. So the first one was really tough. The second one came out really, really bad. And then I noticed that the first one had gotten loose. And I just took the whole thing apart. And it has buttons on the spine. So I had to take all the buttons off, took all the sewing off, reworked a couple of the pages, and then put them back in. So now that they're tight, pretty tight anyway, this one's really tight. And now I am happy with the sewing, but you do not want to see what I did. So well, I added a little autumn leaves and pumpkin please to my fall journal 2021. I like that. I like how the first signature came out. Every page is done. I'm happy, happy, happy with all of this. My new zucchini page here. And now I just have to finish up the second signature. Miss Patty Pumpkin over here. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six pages to go. And I thought I would do a little daily journaling. Besides memory keeping, I do some journaling. And that is we had our first frost the other night. And we've had a frost every night since. But I cut this out of a magazine, and I think I'm just going to go get some glitter Mod Podge and put this down, and then do some journaling over here. But this will take a while to dry. So I just want to thank you for coming along today. I did not get a great big video about how I saw my signatures done, but that's okay. I'll try it again when I work on my Halloween journal, and let's see if I can do it that time. So I just want to thank you for coming along today and happy junk journaling. Bye bye.